shipments of Chinese vaccines arriving in Egypt. Manufacturers have struck deals to supply 400 million doses to countries around the world, despite having not yet released final stage test results. More than one million people in China have received doses under the government's emergency program. Beijing insists they're effective. There have been some adverse reactions, but none are serious. More than 60,000 people have traveled to high-risk areas outside the country, and so far there is no serious infection. This proves our vaccines are protective. In a race to secure COVID-19 jabs, nations like Indonesia, Turkey and Morocco have signed agreements with manufacturers Sinovac, Sinopharm and CanSino Biologics. But some have questioned the safety of Chinese vaccines, including Brazilian President Jair Bolsonaro despite Sao Paulo state governor João Doria already ordering millions of Sinovac doses. Cambodian leader Hun Sen says he won't allow vaccines not recognized by the World Health Organization to be tested there. Previous vaccine scandals in China have led to concerns that manufacturers may be cutting corners. In the past, there were businesses that broke the rules. For example, vaccines won't store in fridges. Due to lack of transparency, their international reputation has been undermined. Stricter regulations in the US, UK and Europe have required Western vaccine companies to release trial data in stages. Chinese companies have not been subject to the same standards. China's leaders are depending on the success of its vaccines to improve its international image, which has suffered since the beginning of the outbreak. Beijing has dismissed concerns about quality, saying it's simply doing its part to ensure developing nations have access to a COVID-19 vaccine. But experts say it has other motives. Whoever has the most successful vaccine, uh, the most efficacious vaccine, will be able to use that partly as a springboard. Um, into other areas of medical diplomacy, but then beyond that, into perhaps trade or social cultural connections, and eventually from there into geopolitical concerns. Beijing says it will be able to manufacture 2 billion vaccines by the end of next year. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Beijing.